I really wanted to show you the importance of working with your horse in the pasture. So here I'm working with Piper on sensitizing her to the fly spray that she hates in her pasture. So she's out in a small paddock and then she's out with one other little pony. And that pony is awesome. She just kind of minds her own business and does whatever she needs to do. So that's perfect if your horse is out with something that's insane and wants to come run over you or anything dangerous, then don't do it. If you have that kind of problem, I would work her as close to her pasture or stall as you can while being safe. So I have a great opportunity to work her out here. This is where she feels most comfortable and this is where horses are driven towards. This is her magnet. She wants to go out here. She wants to hang out. So if I can work her out there, she's not going to want to be there as much. So I sped this video up a little bit, and I'm just going to show you how I desensitized her and kind of talk about it a little bit. She, I already talked to you about how I desensitized her to the fly spray and all the other stuff first. So I did the rope, I did the stick, I did the sound, and then I did the fly spray. So she still just, she hates the fly spray. It's the sound and I guess the sensation of it, and I've had a lot of horses that don't like it. And that's totally fine, but she's going to have to deal with it. So... I start spraying her just out to the side, then I'm going to go to her shoulder, and then I'm going to work down her front leg, up to her withers, down her neck, down her back, hind quarters, back legs. So she's totally fine with anything past her withers and down her legs. She just hates like her neck and her shoulder, and she just doesn't like to stand still. Like right here, she just, she'll get better when she gets, when she get past her belly. There she goes. She just doesn't like it. I don't know why, but I just wanted to show you the importance of doing things out in our pasture. That's the pony she's out with. That's Sugar. Um, she's also a little happy, and she just she's really helpful because um, you'll see in the catching video she's really calm and laid back. So you just gotta watch where the other horse is. Like they get along, but Sugar is the boss. So Sugar comes near Piper, and Piper wants to run away. So I want to keep some distance between the two of them, um, and always watch out for the other horse or horses. But I would need to also focus on my horse. So doing these lessons in the pasture is going to help you so much. If you can lunge and do all the groundwork in the pasture, she's going to not be as drawn to that place. Because she definitely has a magnet. And all horses have magnets. And they affect her training a lot. So she has a stall and it's up from this pasture and then she lives down here but she's drawn to this more because she's out with another horse and that's totally normal that's natural she's not herd bound she just wants to be hanging out with another horse and that's just what we do like we don't really want to go to work we want to stay home and hang out and not do anything totally same with them so I'll take her up and I'll tie her up and she'll want to walk around and she'll neigh and and do that and all I do is totally ignore all the behavior take her back and I'll lunge her as close to sugar as I can get <laughs> I know she wants to be near her. I don't disturb sugar. I just mind my own business. I'll probably be 10 or so feet away and I'll lunge her, do my lesson, do whatever, and then I'll bring her back up. I have her stand tied and then I let her rest up there. So it's really hard when you take your horse out of the pasture or stall every day and make them work away from where they want to be because that's just going to drive them more and more to want to be in their pasture. And that'll really affect your training a whole lot. So I really want to just uh, get her used to working wherever because I don't want her to associate me with work all the time. So that's more what this video is about than the fly spraying because you've already seen that. Um, I just really wanted to talk about the importance of that. And I try and do this at least three times a week. Like it is nicer to work in an arena, but this has its nice sturdy fence. It's nice and level. Like She's not going to get hurt. As long as you have other horses that they're out with that you know are fine, or if she's out by herself, that'd be even better. But just do a few lessons in there a week, and then let her rest in your work area. So I'd turn her out in the arena, or I'd tie her up for a few hours away from her pasture, just so she knows that that's a good place too.